Welcome back to my channel, The 92 Ghosts. So, shall we continue with our game playthrough? So, the last part that I imported, part 2, for some reason it didn't catch my uh, reactions and uh, microphone audio, uh, but this one should have it for one, for 100%, uh, like 100% certain that it will have my audio of the microphone. But what did you miss basically is like me laughing hard on the, on the moment when uh, the veil jumpers <laughs> yeah the bill jumpers uh, uh said shit <laughs> i was walking well, i was laughing so hard on that part like really really hard like did he just say shit <laughs> okay sorry uh, yeah uh, it was a huge laugh like this is not the way uh you would type uh a medieval fantasy type of game. So later on, during the the gameplay through, uh, what you missed as well was uh, me commenting on the environment, and I will do that here as well. Just look at that; it's absolutely stunning, beautiful, really beautiful. I absolutely adore the environment and everything else, and I feel so bad about the head artist of this environment because we get characters like this uh, with a modern type of talking uh, just give me a moment it's a bit too loud on my side uh, the audio for the game like you get those characters with absolutely shit type of uh, conversations which I don't enjoy at all, and uh, at the end of the, the clip, uh, on the last part, part 2, I ended up with the statement that I'm going to work on that game as it was designed. So, it's obviously not uh, the Dragon Age that uh, we all are uh, used to, like the dark, gritty fantasy type of uh, RPG that has in-depth storytelling uh, with in-depth characters and everything. This is basically built within the Dragon Age, the Dragon Age uh, world and universe, but it's designed and planned as uh, a comedic relief, literally a comedic relief. And you can, uh, and uh, probably you're asking yourself why I'm thinking that it's because of the first trailer that we saw about this game. I knew from the beginning when I saw that trailer that this wasn't a mistake because the marketing team know fully well what they're doing, but you can literally see in the first trailer that the whole design for the game was a comedic relief type of design. And that is why I decided that I will be playing the game like that from now onwards so I can enjoy the game <laughs> because obviously I'm quite disappointed that uh, they went with that choice for the game I would have expected a bit more but it's their game definitely not going uh, to fully enjoy the game regretfully uh, but I will play it as it was designed and planned to be played so yeah From now on, onward, we are going to play the game. It's comedic relief. This is how I'm going to play the game. <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus Christ! Why? Why would you do that to such an amazing game like Dragon Age? Is beyond my uh, comprehension, but sure, it's your choice. We will go with that. I'm by where that is. <laughs> okay. Uh... Brooks, ready to go? No, not ready to go yet. Um, I want to explore the place. Okay. Nothing here. <laughs> Mess it off. I just didn't expect it to have such huge range. 
The secret of the past now hidden to each and every man forbidden, but seek here, seek here, seek here with a watchful eye, find a key in the owl's cry. Okay. Huh. The giant owl. Must be something to this. Obviously. What the heck? Old forest is weird. Here goes nothing. <laughs> 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 what? Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? What? <laughs> I'm convinced these owls are more than statues. There is a power behind the silent gardens. I'm hesitant to tamper with them, but on the other hand, owls represent wisdom and transformation. I can't imagine a monument to such noble creature would be harmful. Okay. Is that is that it? Like seriously? That that's everything. Ooh, I bet I cannot. Yeah, I cannot swim. I'm I'm like one hundred percent certain. What the what the fuck was that? Let me just save beforehand and see if I can like swim yep let's see <laughs> yeah that's expected they were even lazy enough to just uh, to just like make swimming possible in the game like seriously why would you why why would you in this current age, why would you not make swimming possible in the round age? I understand the previous titles, there were uh, old titles, the technology was limited and swimming was taking too much of resources, but in current days, I don't think so. Mm, nice. I wonder if we can move that later on. I'm running on all those weird type of uh, white walls. I have zero idea what they do mean. I mean, why are they here? Like, seriously. And I can go up there, but I have zero idea how to get there. Can I like, climb or something? <gasps> nope. We cannot climb. Okay. I guess we will access that part of the game later on okay let's go like bioware please when you are creating areas like that don't put like obvious pathways doors and stuff like that we, we cannot explore them like put stones or something there but don't do that Else besides the hardwood. Oh wait, I, we did get something else. No, I just didn't see it. You sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's man, go. I, man, I can't help that when I look at her at her face, it reminds me like she was beaten by her husband or something like that. Like the visual they use for. It's like women, uh, like when women are, uh, what is the word? Mm. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. Okay. Yeah, when women are mistreated, yeah, that is the word. Like by their husbands and stuff like that. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Obviously. Stay sharp. <sighs> the Metas Crossing. I still can't help myself but enjoy 
the environment as a whole, the ambience so and everything. Quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? Once more, no drop at all. Not even a single piece of gold. Nada. A stone worker. We did get stone. <laughs> stone worker, at least. Oh, there we go. Gold currencies. Another two gold. Broken walking stick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's continue, I guess. We did get like what? Four, six gold from all this breaking. <laughs> it's market day. <laughs> Disappointing. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread, but everything's just abandoned. They barricaded Obviously. the main entrance into town. There's blight in there. I can feel it. Be careful. Now this was important. He said that he can sense a blight over there. However, what I didn't like is that they kept saying that something is going on here and there is like a really 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 good saying in the cinema uh, environment where they say that do not tell, show, exactly that, do not tell, show. I think we can get in over here. Yes, I can see that. We're not like seven years old, please. We can shoot in with our hats. I cannot I cannot break this one though. I can break this one. That's good, I guess. Even worse than in the forest. We can see that. No one gets out. No exceptions. Okay. We'll be rewarded. All of us. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. <laughs> Do you know what that reminds me? It reminds me of that saying from uh, the developers when they say, Just consume. Do not comment. <laughs> Just Someone consume. Used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. Oh, don't say. Just consume, don't criticize, like, get what we are giving you and be happy about it. <laughs> it's the perfect idea watch. <laughs> uh, to, the, to the saying over there, like that guy said. I like the dark glitch part here, but... Uh, uh, we need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Turn out. So this is a square. Really? Look at that perfectly set out uh, dark gritty uh, feel and environment only to be met with such stupid Wines from the from the characters. It's just wow. It's such huge difference between one and the other. Look at that. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there. Aravel, okay. You can break this one. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. I guess they're trying like, uh, to reach out uh, to the players here. Like, grab an emotional reaction, but it just doesn't work. 
just forget it. The mayor is not worth arguing with. He will take gold from the town coffers for a new fountain in the square outside his front window. But good Womber to fix the docks that everyone uses? That is far too expensive, Adewine. Okay, so he's... He's like a greedy bastard. And he cares only about gold. Just like guy where in EA care more uh, just about the money. <laughs> and nothing else. I cannot burn that. I can destroy that over there, but I get nothing, I guess. This blight is weird. Weird how? Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead. Static. But this is alive. What you're talking about? Do you mean like they're the moving inside? Well, the blight always was like that, at least in Dragon Age, in my opinion. It consumes while everything around itself so by feeding. Stay sharp. Over there, two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers, bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. You said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Oh wow. So this is where like uh, the white tore <laughs> through the heart of the of the village of the dogs. Why were they looking for bail jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? Aren't we about to find out that uh, huh? But how? Well, I guess that is a power that they will so not to slip. That's the deep roads down there. Where a whole bunch of darkspawn live. Oh, so he can sense that there is a lot of darkspawn down there, but why don't we see them? Like, you know, in the Dragon Age Origins, the war, when you became a Grain Warden, like we are right now, we could see like those red dots on the minimap showing the horde pretty much but we don't see that on the minimap here i guess there is like some a little blue points but i don't think that those are like dark spawns so to speak look more people you can see that uh, I'll need to command once more. Just show, don't tell. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. It's not Walker impending me. Thank you. Let's continue. Oh, ooh. I wouldn't go through this like tight tunnel if I was my character. It's just eek. Melva. That's one of your fellow fail jumpers. What happened here is the question oh. that you should be asking. And how does he know Bewara? Oh wait, she's Bewara. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's alive. Bellara. We're we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The you. Gods, the gods have returned. We already established that. Why? Saw them. Several times. I heard their voices. Look at that tentacle. The gods <laughs> it's, did this. It's just distracting me. A blood ritual. To release the blight in the villagers. They said they needed power. Valara, be careful. And he's spilling down. Wow. I wonder what that is. It seems it sounds like a massive thing. Look at that gold 
<laughs> over there. Can we got, like gather it or something? I guess not. Come on, that sounds close. Now uh, let's explore here first. The Veil Jumper orders Jahel. To be safe, let's make sure the Meta's crossing is alright and that none of the villagers have spotted anything. Take Milva, um, Milva. she's new. This will help ease her in and build confidence as a scout. Yeah, just this sounds so so less. Like no information on the mission they have to do or something like that. Okay, we got some gold coins. We are rich. Ooh, this sound. Ooh, look at those gold coins. Why I cannot pick them up? Come on. Dragon looks amazing though. How realistic it looks, I like it. I don't like the color on it, but I do like the scales. Look at him how he's sweating. The details. A hungry heart. Creature, come to me. Fresh food, a hungry heart. Creature come to me. What? What? What do you mean with that? Do you mean like follow me or something like that? Or was someone else calling it back? Oh, it was one of the gods calling back the dragon. That's where I said that it wasn't represented well I visually. You. You're the mayor of this town. The village. The people. Are they uh Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. Yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That was everything. You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The I don't. Told me to lure the veil jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. Also, oh, her creations was, was that dragon that we just saw, and the, the one that she called back. This is for you, EA, by the way, and by where? Gold? All oh, this for greed? Are you fucking serious? All this for gold? The villages, the veil jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demeter's crossing is dead because of your greed. Exactly I what I think about know. EA and Bioware you don't these days. understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blights everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook, you're a Grey Warden. You could pack him off to Weishaupt as punishment. Should I though? I'm not going to save this guy. 
I do, I abhor greed. I literally abhor with my own being the greed. That is why I don't enjoy uh, EA titles these days. Bioware specifically. The only EA, EA titles that I've enjoyed recently are the Jedi in the Star Wars titles. This is where they show that they still have like uh, well, not EA, but uh, the studio that uh, is working for the Star Wars Free Spawn or whatever it was called. I keep forgetting about it, but they know how to make game, and EA Grid is just ruining games like Dragon Age and Bioware these days, as we can see right now. Let's banish him to the Grey Wardens. Let's make him suffer more. We'll send him to the Wardens. No! I I'll never survive that! We take Good. anyone. Even murderous traitors like you. It's more than you deserve. You don't understand. I felt their power. It's irresistible. You're going to spend the rest of your life fighting Darkspawn. That's not enough to redeem you, but it's a start. I but hope you die. <laughs> give you this chance. The first chance you get, I hope you get, like, killed, eaten, or whatever. The fade had opened. And take at and least the a few were free. of them with you. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow oh, gods. Varric again. Come oh, on, God. seriously. Man, I have. Never been a fan of fighting. They still had the power of the blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone. Would pay for it. Okay, fast travel unlocked, I guess. Isn't like I broke those? <laughs> Didn't I break them? I before going on the boat. I'm happy that they respawn though. Perhaps they will give me some skills. There we go. More gold. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. I sound like a uh, like, uh, double faced person right now. <laughs> Seeking my own greed in the game. But honestly, I need that gold so I can upgrade my weapons. And so, so far, I haven't really enjoyed. Um, uh, the way they've constructed the uh, uh, the whole thing about how you uh, how much gold you earn and so on is just isn't enough, and I do not like that. When you play like a hero type character, like our guy currently, the Rook, you would expect him to make quite a bit of gold, more than enough to upgrade gear and everything else that he needs to upgrading. At the spot on the moment because he's saving like all those lives and um, you would expect him to make quite a bit of money and I just don't see that here fast travel okay like the economy is so fucked up in this game for now at least the grind. I never enjoy grind. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gilanane use them like puppets. Is 
Is that? Oh yeah, she is. She is more to go. show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to what? see you again. Morrigan? Look, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. This this is not the Morgan I remember from Dragon Age Origins. She was spiteful. She was a snake with her words. She was biting over and over again and not stopping and still biting and biting and biting like a vipers. So I'm just disappointed to see her character so butchered in this case. Like I never liked Morgan. I despise her nature or character or whatever you want to call it. But to see her butchered that much Jesus Christ. Such a huge disappointment. Who the fuck are you? So exactly. who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, Friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Yeah, they definitely budget her, but you can see right away that Rook, our character, is into her. Like, she's really into her, but I guess this might be more like the uh, the voice actor who's voicing Rook. He is into into Morrigan, and that's why you can like you can sense, sense that in his uh, in his voice. <laughs> We're not pushing time, but for your help. That sounds I bad. I was hoping what we saw at the Meta's Crossing would be the worst of it. Tis but the start, I fear, and ignorance provides a feeble shield. Right. What can you tell us? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history. And why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods she's are through. Just, she's still sounding just like an excited, excited uh, child that just got her hands on a Dragon Age copy and... She's excited for what is to come in her self speak, but you just don't feel it in this game. We caused this. Let's not go there. All this for power. All this for power. All this Seriously. horror because a bunch of power hungry gods want even more power. When have the powerful among us ever done otherwise? So, how do we stop them? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. 
Tis said his Alluvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Alluvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Alluvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? There's some emotions here, but I like that. That reaction was okay. Whatever it takes. We don't have a choice here. We stand against the gods however we can. Because if we don't, nobody else will. You get the Illuvian fixed at the lighthouse, we'll find the dagger. Let's figure out our next moves after that. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. It's astonishing how well uh, Morrigan's, uh, Morrigan's uh, words are constructed. Like her dialogue. It's really, really well done. Like a fantasy type of done. Even though that this is not the Morrigan that we know, mind you. She's... She used to be like more like, as I said, like a snake that bites over and over again like a viper. And this is just missing here, but they really nailed her dialogue uh, from a fantasy, medieval fantasy type of setup. And we just teleported here out of nowhere. Wow. Just wow. <sighs> you can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. Okay, so I'm putting an end on this video here. I will continue with the next part. This was part 3. And we'll continue with part 4 after that. I'm sorry that the videos are like... Um, their time frame, uh, their time slot is like uh, quite different, but this is because uh, some quests take a bit more time, other quests don't take that much time. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, I will continue uh, with the next part shortly after uh, this one. In the meantime, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and see you again. Bye for now.